What's up, guys? It's your boy, Anime Boom, and I am back for another video. And you know, I've been trying to look for Toy Story 5 videos because they just recently announced Toy Story 5. I've been trying to look for videos to watch, people talking about it, people uh, giving their opinions on how they feel about the new Toy Story movie. And I really couldn't find much about it. So, 3C Films posted about it. If you watch him, Banger Channel, go check him out. Really good channel. But 3C Films talked about it, and I believe that's really it. It's been other channels, but it's really not been that many, though. But, keep saying, but, Toy Story 5, I'm really excited for, I'm really excited for Toy Story. I don't care what nobody says, Toy Story 4 was a banger. I love Toy Story 4. Good movie, and it didn't feel like other Pixar movies, man. Pixar is good. I don't care what nobody else says about that either. Pixar is still good. I think people just want to hate on it because it's not the old days anymore, but Toy Story 4 was good, and the new Pixar movies are pretty good, too. The thing I like about Toy Story 4 is just the moving on, that whole part of the story. I love that moving on and finding your place and where you, what are you supposed to be and where you're supposed to be. I love that. But the big problem people have with Toy Story 5 is like, okay, y'all finished Woody's story in Toy Story 4. Y'all finished Andy's story in Toy Story 3. That should be it, right? But no, they're going to do another movie uh, I guess, bringing everybody back together, like, so it kind of undoes everything they do, they did in Toy Story, um, Toy Story 4, or to Toy Story 4, yeah, and first thing is, we all know we're about to be back in the theater when that comes out, when that comes out, we all have to be back in there watching, like, oh, let's go, the gang's back together, we're gonna be so excited, and... I'm just ready to see where the story goes, man. I'm ready to see where the story goes. And I think there's stuff they can do. I think there's stuff they can do. 3C Films, for example, I think he brought up a point. Or as a different YouTuber, it brought up a point. They can bring Andy back into the story. I think that's what they're about to do. Bring Andy back into the story. And they can get Woody involved back into the story. Like uh, It was like, uh, I think 3C Films was talking about. He said, Andy could go back to Bonnie's house because Andy has kids or something now. And... He could be like, uh, and Bonnie can give up the toy, give up the toys to Andy, and and that would be a, just a good, good moment. That's the main thing I thought about Bonnie being older and giving her toys back to Andy. Now that would be great. I would be like, oh, okay, that's a good uh, giving it to the next generation. I would love that, and I just would love to see Woody get involved into the story again. So that, I think that would be like a good uh. A story, and then another thing I would love to see is just an adventure. I love the how they do the adventures in the story story movies, and I would love to see Andy's group, like Buzz and Jesse and them, have to go find Woody to go tell him about this stuff. I don't know how they will meet back up that because I feel like Woody and them was gonna start traveling the world and stuff. Him and um, a Bo Peep, I feel like they was about to go start traveling the world, so I don't know how they're gonna meet up again, but. Yeah, I'm just ready to see. I don't care what anybody says. I'm excited to see Toy Story 5 and ready to see where the story goes. There's a lot of stuff that I'm ready to see the villains. They're really good with villains. Toy Story is really good with villains. And I was shocked. They even made toys, even though some Pixar movies was not doing good. Like the when they do sequels and stuff, they was not doing good. Cars 2 was terrible. Toy Story, they still handled it with cure. They they handled it with uh just grace, man. They handled it very gracefully. They handled the movie very gracefully, and we got a great movie. So, Toy Story 5, I can just see it going the same way. And I believe this probably should be the last movie. I know we were saying it with 4. 4 should have been the last movie. But I think 5, if they're going to bring Andy back, should be the final, final movie. This should be the end of the Toy Story movies. But they could probably even make more. And they could make banger, more banger movies. Like, uh, they've made mistakes. I think Lightyear is really bad. Lightyear is really bad. How hyped up people was about Lightyear. It's like, whoa, these graphics are amazing. And then the movie was so boring and mid. The movie, the, the, from the show, from what I've seen, I'm not about to act like I watched the cartoon show, but from the times I've seen it, it looked like a space adventure. And from Toy Story 2, for sure, I've seen it. It was like some space. He's going after Zerg every single episode, and he's going around space and stuff. This movie he was staying on the same boring planet, very sad and depressing, and that was the movie, and then Zerg wasn't even Zerg in the movie, it was really weird, so Lightyear was really disappointing, it's just the graphics and the, the, the animation and stuff was so nice, 
and that was the main thing for the movie. But really, the story was disappointing, very disappointing. So I just hope Toy Story Five's not a disappointment. I don't want people to be making fun of Toy Story, saying it, it, they went too far and they they forced it to uh, be uh, terrible. Because Disney does that a lot, where they force stuff to be terrible. I feel bad for Star Wars fans because I could see how they did Luke. I don't even watch Star Wars, but from the how he acts in those original movies and the trilogy, I've seen the first movie of Star Wars. From how he acts in the original trilogy of movies, from a few clips you can watch. You can see he's one of those heroic hero characters. You can tell he's one of those characters. And you would think that would carry on to those sequel movies. And then my brother used to take me to see the, the new trilogy. The Force Awakens. Was it Force Awakens? And then Rise of Skywalker. And the, the I forgot the names. I really forgot the names. But The Last Jedi and all of that. The second movie where Luke comes back. That he was really bad in that movie. It's, like, very depressing to see how he acts. He, like, wants the Jedi to die and stuff. And you would think Luke will have kids and stuff. He's training or something to be the nice Jedis and stuff. But, no, his life is, like, super depressing. He don't talk to his friends. He's disappearing and staying on islands, drinking nasty green milk. And then just dies at the end of the movie. Very sad. Luke really went out really bad. And I know the actor that plays Luke... Oh, I forgot his name, but he also does the Joker as a voice actor. Bang, he's so good at doing both, but I know he was really mad how Luke was acting. He just was not acting like a hero. He's acting really weird in those movies. Very sad, but I hope Toy Story don't go off that. I know I just went super off topic if you don't watch Star Wars, but Toy Story, I hope don't go off that bad. Woody's just going around doing random stuff, and then he's acting different, and they change up characters just to make a storyline work. I hope they don't pull the Dragon Ball Super. So, tell me how you feel about that. Are y'all excited for Toy Story 5? And I'll see you in the next video. Anime Boom, my peace.